Here we go then for the World Cyber Games Grand Final 2009 in Chengdu, China. It's Asphalt 4 up next. And no lesser man than the defending champion of Asphalt 4 from 2008. It is Singapore's Sly Fox Lover going head to head with Chinese Taipei's Burberry. And if you're not familiar with Asphalt 4, well, we'll give you a little lesson before. Let's introduce you to the former champion, Singapore's champion qualifier and the holder. Also came through with six wins and a loss in the group stage and only just scraped past Basago in the semi-finals from Germany. He goes up against Ter Burberry. Which we'll show you in a second. By the power of television or by the power of Grace Guy, I'm not sure. And there he is, the man from Chinese Taipei who gets a huge round of applause. Ter Burberry, six wins, one loss, and easy through the semi-final. He starts off as the favorite, despite the fact that he goes up against the champion who's looking to become a WCG legend in his own right. Two championships enters you automatically in the WCG Hall of Fame. For those of you that just tuned in, I'm Paul Redai Chalana for Quaffee.com. Alongside me is Matt A. Speck Hoving. And we are bringing you the Asphalt 4 Elite Racing Grand Final on mobiles. Indeed. Interestingly enough, this game, according to the developers of Gameloft, has 152 release, uh, release versions. More than Bell. <laughs> no kidding. <laughs> okay, we're getting ready then. Here we go, Asphalt 4 Elite Racing Grand Final 2009, WCG 2009 Grand Final from Chengdu, China. And that was yes, quick. I did say that without taking a breath. That was quick. My vocal cords have been fixed partially uh, by Corin's coffee. Hooray for Corin. He's Absolutely. been he's been a great he help open here. open his own Starbucks or something. Yes. Anyway, Sly Fox Lover versus Ter Burberry is coming up. Race one, take us away, Matt. Okay, here we go, Asphalt 4. So we should be ready to go on the way. Three, two, one, and we are on our way. This game basically taking a whole lot of play-by-play uh, -play play here. And so right now, some stuff is going on here on the stage. All right, well, the game is afoot. The basic idea behind, behind the game is you keep on hitting in the nitro. The longer you hit the nitro, the more of it you have, the faster you go. You have to go three laps. That's the case of it. It's not that difficult. You get to do three laps. It's the best of three. We'll have a minimum of six laps, maximum of three. Yeah. Uh, I hope we're not underway right now. Because if we are, then we're missing the first race. Apparently we are. Is this just warm up? Yeah. So why aren't we uh, showing it? Yeah. Okay, so are they playing a warm-up? Is this just warm-up? We're trying to find it. Oh, uh, there we go. We're oh. going to drop you into the game. Oh, we're, uh, uh, Matt Blake. Oh, well, whatever. What, okay. Uh, finally, we get inside the game. So we've done two laps of the three already, unfortunately. Nevertheless, uh, we'll carry on. Yeah, that's that's you. That's not me. They're looking at me going, why is he telling us that? Well, I'm telling you that because the game's on the way. Uh, never mind. <laughs> get over it. Lap three of three is about to begin and has now begun. Uh, it's difficult to work out from my screen just exactly where they are right now. Uh, looks like Burberry is ahead here by probably about two seconds or so and is now motoring on through to the tunnel. He'll pop out the other side in just a moment and when he does so, after a nice little drift, 
he'll be somewhere in the region of about two and a half seconds ahead and this one's easily heading the way of Burberry well ahead here and Sly Fox Lover is going to be beaten in the first race no problem whatsoever Burberry winning by about 3.2 uh, seconds in the end so the crowd cheers for Chinese Taipei Burberry wins one it is three races best of three though indeed we could be looking at the uh, at the final race right now and Chinese Taipei going to go home with the goal one win for him indeed getting ready for the reset once again three laps and that is it the cars go 399 kilometers an hour you can't get any faster than that you get the NAS you hit the NAS and off you go pretty much it hang on for the ride indeed there is no real uh, finesse to it it's not a you know it, it's not a racing simulation it's an arcade game it's it's not it's not Forza or GP no. yeah no. <laughs> we're getting ready for round two the Sly Flux lover has some uh, well some of the field to make up for he was two seconds behind just now. And that's huge, by the way. Sorry? That, that's a huge distance in mm. this game. Two Ab seconds. Ab Ab yes, yes. Distance. I played it earlier, and I was thinking by myself, how on earth are these people getting 26 seconds for a lap while yep. I'm doing 31? They're yeah. good. Here we go then. Three, two, one, and underway once more. Oh. For the second race off, and immediately Burberry is uh, just taking a little, bo uh, little bash into the wall. And it's actually Sly Fox Lover who takes the lead now in this second matchup of three. Who's been hit there? And Burberry just holding off to about nine tenths of a second, though, catched up a little bit uh, through the financial districts as they go into the tunnel for the first time. Nice, fantastic drift from Burberry who closes back up yet again. Sly Fox Lover is running wide here as they go through the Chinese district now the temple area and Burberry just a fraction behind at one point has now dropped right behind and Sly Fox Lover has it as they start lap two lap two is underway Sly Fox Lover still in the lead and Terry Burberry is on his heels trying to get that they're trying to get that speed up although Sly Fox missed the NOS did not pick that up needs to keep on hitting it as fast as he can and keep on getting that four times, uh, three times nitro up and continue to uh, get the speed up. Burberry, on the other hand, is trying to uh, catch up as fast as he can, running at uh, about 366. And Nas gets hits again, and he's getting closer. It's a couple of seconds. It's, no, it's about three quarters of a second now. Getting closer and closer. The Nas being picked up, and that's important right here. Get those drifts in. One, two, three. Third lap is here. Sly Fox Lover just ahead here by less than a second as they head into the financial area once more for the third and final time. Double Noz, triple Noz. Now for Burberry. Catching slowly but surely. But Sly Fox Lover, it's his to lose here as they go through the tunnel for the final time. Head down towards the Chinese area. Noz being picked up for the very last time by Burberry. He's closed the gap here, but it's not going to be enough. The final couple of corners coming up. And there it is, Sly Fox Lover comes over the line, he will win this one, and Burberry is not that far behind in the end, but it is 1-1. One, 1-1 one. One, one it is. The crowd is happy about it. Funny, isn't it? Singapore versus Chinese Taipei. Singapore, polite clap. Chinese Taipei won the first one, huge rule. Indeed. There we go, 1-1. One, one. Sly Fox Lover won, Terry Burberry won. All down to the third and final race to find out who will be crowned WCG 2009 Grand Final Champion. Will it be the former champion, Sly Fox Lover, and enter into the Hall of Fame for the first time in a mobile game? Or will Burberry pick up his and his country's first ever gold at the WCG? That would be, that, that would be interesting, indeed. Set three, three rounds, we've gone all the way through to nine laps. Two nine laps, that is. We've run six, three to go. As we're on our way here on the track, initial speed, who's gonna be taking the lead? It is gonna be Sly Fox Lover. Although oh. Tabiri on the side, quickly goes by. 
and picks up the lead. Sly Fox is not doing too well, Paul. No, he's not. He's uh, quite a long way away here. He's missed a couple of Norse boxes as well. So Burberry in control of this final race up. And you know what? It's going to take a miracle now for Sly Fox to have to come back into this. He is making a little bit of inroads. Oh, mistake by Burberry. That's why. And now, if he doesn't get all the Nos in the next flat, then we might well see a change of lead. But I think this is Burberry's to lose. It definitely is Burberry's to lose. Sly Fox. NBA, right, NBA, he just managed to pick up those Nas. Keep on hitting that. There is uh, there's Burberry in the distance. Needs to get, get that speed going. Burberry is just racing at it. He hasn't made any mistakes so far. And he is just happily running through, just constantly hitting that Nas. No problem whatsoever. At full speed, 399 kilometers an hour, through the tunnel, and he's gonna hop in towards that Chinese district. While Sly Fox Lover is about a second, maybe a little bit more, behind him. I don't think this is gonna end well for the uh, for the Singaporean. No, doesn't look like the defending champion is gonna be able to pull this one off. Burberry then, about to start his third and final lap in the lead. Let's check the gap. It's not much though, a mistake here from Burberry. Uh, will send Sly Fox Lover back into the lead, no doubt about that. But he's made hardly any mistakes so far. A little bit of a bump off the side. Oh, and another one from Sly Fox Lover. And he's in all sorts of trouble now. And this is going to be Chinese Taipei's first ever gold medal. Burberry on the mobile, on the Samsung mobile for Asphalt 4. Comes through the Chinese area of the temple for the final time. Down towards the last few corners. And he is absolutely cruising here. Seven seconds ahead and oh, wins wow. in Asphalt 4. Chinese Taipei crowns a champion. For the very first time. Administration on the admin just to finalize things. And Chinese Taipei can receive their very first WCJ gold medal. In a, well, in a seven-year history now? Incredible. And there it is. Singapore don't pick up a gold medal in Asphalt for the second consecutive year. And Sly Fox Lover has to be content with a silver. <laughs> the crowd erupting to our Chinese colleagues next door to us who've just announced the next up on the main <laughs> stage is StarCraft and it's the two Koreans, Stork and Jadok, going head to head. That's why, what coming up next, the Grand Final 2009 and then after that we will have Warcraft 3 where two Chinese players will go head to head for Warcraft 3's gold medal, and you will not want to miss that <laughs> because the Chinese will be going absolutely potty out here.